Hey folks, and welcome back to Red Deadly Premonition, no, Red Dead Redemption. Um, so, last time we left off, we're heading back to Bonnie's house, and I decided to take a quick nap in the middle of nowhere. As you do. Um, so we've got another side quest to do, which is uh, doing the deed, uh, well, getting the deed for some land. Go that uh, apparently is very valuable, uh, has water under it, which, um, you know, could be a reference to Chinatown, something like that, I really don't know. Uh, we've also got a side quest here we can do. Uh, we get money for it and nothing else, to be honest, um, which is doing the ranch patrol, which is basically what we did before you walk through. Um, uh, we'll do it now, we might as well. Instead of following Bonnie like we did the last time, um, follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. We follow Charlie. Stay close to Charlie. Uh, what are the controls? Yeah, we'll use that. Put my steam off for that. So yeah, we stop any criminals that we encounter. Um, our health is actually really low. I just noticed that. Stop any criminals we encounter. Um, Sometimes it's just coyote again, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do Bonnie's quest after this because with Bonnie you get an item that's actually very handy and you'll use quite a lot throughout the game, really. Uh, for certain side quests, um, I think for even certain quests in general, as well as a uh, certain achievement that I want to get, um, and to get horses as well, as Bonnie will teach us. Uh, the ways around getting horses. Um, so you follow the dog, it does the kind of typical thing that you get in games where it just kind of walks around in circles with no purpose until suddenly you uh, come across what you're looking for. Um, yeah, I really don't know why they program things like this or how it's programmed. Uh, eventually, <coughs> um, the dog will start barking, it's sprinting, and that means there is a criminal, and that usually will show up on our map anyway. You don't really need the dog to do anything about it. I'm kind of surprised sleeping doesn't heal your health. I think, actually, there we go. Horse food. That's one way of subduing him. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I, I know it's a thing available if you shoot someone close. Um, it does a little cutscene like that. I, I just, I forgot. Yeah, you can clean up the mess. That, um... Hmm. <clears throat> Just checking the audio cables because I didn't hear him speak. So I'm wondering if the audio is off. Yeah, the cables are attached right, so. Hola. <laughs> Some guys just. Thinking, what the what have fuck you happened here? Four dollars. <laughs> don't spend all that at once. It also said that we got um, the wrong one. Uh, well, we updated the Bola Twins outfit. Uh, as you see there, Scrap 2 was complete, and I watched Joel back McFarlane's Ranch. Uh, we've got four more scraps complete. Um, yeah, a few of them just aren't available until later in the game. Um, not tremendously far into it, but yeah, later in the game enough. So Bonnie's doesn't open until 5 in the morning. Uh, there's a few things we can do around here. There's a poker table here. And there's meant to be a horseshoes game, which was the other one. Uh, to get the scrap. Um, I really don't know why it's split into scraps. I don't really imagine John Marston to be the type that, you know, clicked random rags of clothing and stitched them together but 
Well, I guess it's one way of doing collectibles. I thought the horseshoes was here. Um, Hello there. Just bowl over these saw horses. Maybe it's just not available. Let's check the map. It doesn't actually even appear on the map as you see the, the poker games there. Um, the doctor's there in the night watch. Maybe horseshoes isn't, isn't available at the moment. And in that case, we'll have a quick game of poker. Um, we can t look at the time here. It is only three in the morning, so we do have a fair while before um, Bonnie is awake. Oh, stuck in the door. Come on. God, you're not that drunk, are you? God, it's like a free Stooges skit with just one Stooge. Christ almighty. You're getting my spurs, Hank. That's mighty so, kind of cheap, cheap game of poker, it's only 100. Uh, poker is the... I think it might be the only game, or maybe Blackjack as well, where, uh, depending on the table you get... Well, Skip help, we've already done that. Um, different tables are worth different amounts. Because there's a couple of gambling things. Oh, Christ, I don't know why it does that. I'm going to call it. Um, well, you see, we've got a very good hand here. Let's see if that gambling the heart. Oh, he, he is. Lock me up, throw away he bet six. Let's race at the 12. He calls. No, 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 we'll go, we'll go to four. We don't want okay, to then. make a oh, folded bastard. Well, we had a straight. I can't imagine he would have beat that. Um, there's a few gambling things around. Horseshoes is one of them, which is throwing a horseshoe at a ring. Um, poker, obviously. Uh, blackjack, which we'll find tables later on. Um, five finger fillet, which is that whole you know traditional game of. Uh, putting a knife between your fingers and basically it's just an over-glorified... Uh, nice well, not a quick time friend. event per se, I guess it is, but it's not kind of a traditional quick time event. We don't have anything at the moment, uh, but we'll get carry on. You ain't much fun. We could get some. No. I don't believe one word of <laughs> mm. Well, we don't have enough. Uh, we wouldn't get anything anyway. We didn't have very high cards. Oh, show me the shit then. And yeah, the best we could have hoped for was two pair, but it would have been unlikely. Um, we've got decent cards there. Think I'm gonna call. Call. Yeah, I'll play along with that. I mean, like I said, our cards are like, decent. We don't have a pair or anything, but now we do. We've got two pair. Shit. Very good hand. Oh, Christ. The game is really eager. Knows I'm that we've got a good hand. That. Just goes right in the Everyone's folding besides him. Oh, he's beating 20. No, we're, we're happy with that. We'll beat 20. Still at 2 pair. We can't see what he's got. He's beating quite high. But it's a pretty safe bet he doesn't. See, he's only got a pair of 9s. We get 2 pair. Easily beat him. Um, blackjack, poker, uh, like I said. Better give me um, a real card. Let's see if we can get 200, double our money. Or at least 200. And my favorite game in this is, of course, uh, Lies Dice. Um, which we'll show later on. It's kind of a hard game to explain, but I'll explain it when we actually get to show it. We don't have anything there. We, of course, do have a potential straight if a four shows up. Um, we'll check. No. I may regret this. At the moment... 
It's, it's almost fair play. to say nobody has anything. We'll risk it. I mean, he could have a pair. There's two twos there. I mean, he could even have a um. All right. Let's see. Three of a kind. Pair of twos, but he's got the queen, so he wins. Yeah. Close one. I'm watching you. Um, but yeah, Lion's Dice is by far my favourite game, but unfortunately it's one that doesn't uh, increase in uh, value or increase in that, you know, you don't. There's no high tables. Um, I'll call. You got, yeah. Got a jack. Two fours and a jack. Or check. Pick out check. I mean. There's been two. Uh, it is possible. I mean, it could be just playing off the two fours there. We do have two pair now. Check. And we've got a higher two pair now as well. We can go quite sure. high and bet ten. Bet. He really goes along, and two jacks, two fives. Again, unlikely you'll beat that. Hit the king. Thinking you he'll get quite high. Like I said, play time 200. We doubled our money. Can't complain about that. Walk away while, you know, the dealing's good. Got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him. Um... But yeah, like I said, uh, I don't mean it was the only one, because I think, well with horseshoes, um, there's only a handful of places you can play it, uh, poker's are one of the most places to play it in the game, and different tables I can sit, oh Bonnie's is open, we'll go to Bonnie, see what she has to say, so I'm just rambling on about very little. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, we'll do a couple of Bonnie's quests uh, well. and then wrap up Would this episode. It might be a little pillow. bit of a long one. I've got to get some um, supplies and I can do with the company. Of course. Ooh. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. I don't know if she's joking. All right. Approach the driver's seat and press Y. Now these wagons, you. You can steal them throughout the game, but you don't really ever need them. You're looking much better, considering you were almost uh, buzzard food a couple days generally, ago. I have you to thank for that, sir. So do tell me, have you dog. needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Hey, yeah. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having Ooh, a personality. Yeah, I, I just know there are two theories to arguing with <clears throat> women, and neither one works. I'm not God, even going to identify that gibberish with a response. So with wagons is a, basically a consistent speed you get with any given wagon you pack up. Um, as well as you notice on the left bottom left hand side. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road oh, and now you're driving me into town. Oh, that's that's hard, hard. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't so realize we're friends. we were oh. friends, Mr. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Oh, Listen, oh, oh. I know that business with Williamson is your business, but oh, I don't know. God, we've got people running straight at us. Watch out. I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us oh, less mortal, Mr. Farland. Oh, I've never and seen that before. If there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I think it might have been one of the um, quests that, you know, take place. Like we saw before with people getting dragged through town. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at 
Oh, you point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. Sorry, I'm I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that <laughs> they yelling. wisdom. Uh, sounds like the so perfect you, person you know, to the wagon, your entire it's not livelihood. livelihood. Kind of funny. Go way back. And I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's oh, what I'm trying to do, later. miss. Oh, and they finished up. Oh, I've so never this seen this place before. Man Thanks for introducing it. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. Alright. We'll do that. First one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life. So be polite. Well, we rode near the town, so Meet me hopefully in front it's of the a general store when you're done. No, uh, we still haven't gone to the movie fair, but I guess that we'll have to wait for a future episode. I just want to get these Bonnie quests out of the way, or at least a couple. Oh, free medicine. Yeah, <coughs> medicine's in there. Um, yep, that's all there is to it. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? Well, we really you can that. always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. That's the point. She won't. I don't think we've died yet, have we? I can't recall. I know we've come very close to it, but I can't remember if we've actually died yet or not. So there, it points out the stagecoaches. Um, every town has a stagecoach, or at least every major town. I think there may be one or two, but pardon me, that don't. And we can also now pro 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 purchase properties marked with that icon. Um, there are some properties that you can buy, and some that are can rent as it mentions there. So we'll purchase this one. Why not? We've got enough money. Uh, the new items available from stores I believe is actually attributed to our honor. And now we can do oh wow just look at that. And in purchase property, we can also reload our, uh, restock our ammo. Um, uh, well. Okay, n not for sale yet. Alright, good to know. So like I said, we'll take a stagecoach for, um, for this journey. And we'll hop in the back. And we don't want to ride truck, then we want to ride as a passenger. I'll see what I can do. Which direction we go? Um, we've only got the one option at the moment, the time is around. Uh, probably the game you can use it to tra fast travel to any place. But if we get an improved campsite, which is an item I was mentioning before, uh, you can use that to fast travel, I believe. I think the normal basic campsite doesn't allow you to fast travel, and that's one of the bonuses of the improved. Um, of course, we can, we can you know, just sit here and watch and enjoy. Uh, icon on the bottom right, Next to the skull and crossbones, the hand. You might not be able to really tell it's a hand because of the quality. That's the five finger fillet. Uh, the thing with five finger fillet is, sorry, I'm just skipping to the destination. Um, is you can't. Well, you can win one game and then leave. Uh, the first game is really relatively easy. You face somebody, you bet say ten bucks, um, and you have to press basically two buttons. Um, and then of course it gets subsequently gets harder and you'll generally face three people in a row. Um, each person gets harder and each time the stakes get higher of course. So it's something that you can win, say around about $100 per 
free people. Anyway, carry on with Bonnie. See what she has to say. Woman and cattle. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so sense. love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Uh... Miss McFarland, I'm married. Oh, he's caught on. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, Maybe not. trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting well, to you. Well, that's the story to the game. He finally comes out with it. Why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. <laughs> People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially that reminds me of a story and I tell you after they're done. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. Oh, that's not a contest, were, Jesus. Well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother let's died just say in that. childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her. Well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer. Sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, God, honey? You hear my sub story? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> then you just demand sure. something. Point me in the right direction. So, the story, um, I have to get a bit of time to tell it. Right, are you ready to learn how to Maybe not. <clears throat> when I get to tell it, yeah. when we're not talking, to, when, well, when they're not talking so much. Lead the Thank way. Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... They're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. Oh, as you can see, she kind of fancies uh, Mr. Marston. How are you today? Whoa there! Well, which way's behind? Whoa, whoa! That's it. So these quests are kind of weird. We have to do similar quests a few times. Uh, 
Um, You have to go reasonably slow for this. Here he Come on, you dumb heifers. Ain't that hard, is it? Anyway, um, this case quests are kind of weird in that you're basically put in charge of someone's, you know, livelihood. Come on. And you're, in every case, you know, you get multiple ones of these, you're the only one looking after them. Uh, you know, they kind of give this illusion that Bonnie's looking after them. But she really isn't. Um, you're the one that's looking after these cattle, so it's kind of a really strange way to do a mission to have you fully in charge of something that you really wouldn't expect someone to put you in charge of. Like I said, this is, this is Bonnie's livelihood, this is the whole ranch's livelihood of that. And uh, to be put fully in charge of it, that's kind of crazy. Someone you just met who just also admitted to being a gang member. How you heard? Heard cows? Huh? Heard bird. chicken? Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. So there, uh, again, it's over. So the story, um, basically it was similar to what Chris, uh, what John was saying. Whoa there! Uh, let's, let's see what this is here. Something keeps interrupting my stories. Trashing and boosting kill you, you start getting aware. Alright. Um, have you finished talking yet? Okay. I'll check something. Oh, it hasn't come up yet. Um, it was kind of hinting at the sharpshooting one. And I don't see any birds in the sky. Oh, there's one. Okay, we've started the first rank of the sharp shooting challenge, which is here. Kill, shoot and kill five flying wild birds. Well, there's another one. It's two down. And we'll get the five now, because we probably can. Three. all that uh, did I but we did so we completed the first rank of the sharpshooting challenge next one five rabbits um, I, like I said I don't think I'll be able to do all these quests um, there's sharpshooting there's hunting there's um, I think it's called gathering something like that who was shooting is it this guy no uh, Shooting. Um, oh well. Let's see if the horseshoes is available quickly. Yep, it is. I still hear gunshots going off. I don't know where they are. It could be a side quest for all I know. The horseshoes might have been closed because it was night time last time we checked. So. Yeah, as it says, control point of release, favor, you know, blah, blah, blah. You've done this before. Uh, we get an achievement if we actually get it to hit the middle bar, middle bar, or get it to loop around the middle bar. Um, 
practice, this is just practice. This is actually really bloody tricky. That's the right one. Oops, I just skipped it. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. Uh, okay, do we get a chance to repeat this? Sorry, I just want to see if I can repeat the tutorial. If we can't, and we can't. Yeah, it looks like we can't. Oh no. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I pushed the wrong button. I don't know why I pushed that. Just might have been a game I was playing lately where it had similar controls. So you can aim like that, and you pull back, pull back, and that was way short. Come on, faster than the wind. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, that was a bit better, but still he would have won. So, but that's basically how it works. And as it says, large bets are more difficult than small bets. We'll just bet a dollar. We just, you know, we want a simple one. We at the very least want to see if we can, um... Wow, he's doing really bad. We might be able to get that. Um, it looks like he's drunk. Christ almighty. Yeah, uh, what I was saying was I want to see if we can get the, uh... The extra piece of clothing thing. I have got the achievement for. Oh, that was. Need lessons. Uh, I'm your man. Achievement for getting it. I can't remember what it's called, but you get you know, some stupid name like Fiddle Me Jigs. So we got two points. Uh, first one to 11 wins, you must win by two. So you must be two ahead of your player, basically. And we got two points, yes. Each horseshoe that's closest is worth a point, basically. Actually, obviously I can tell a story now. Um, so similar to what uh, John was saying before about how his uh, father hated the um, English for what they did to his great-grandfather. Many years ago, I think it was St. Patrick's Day, which is creeping up close and will actually have passed by the time uh, this video goes out. Um, I think it was St. Patrick's Day. I went to a bar anyway with a few friends. Oops. Uh, and no one else was at the bar aside from this lone guy sitting right at the front of the bar. So I sat down. Whoa, that's a really bad shot. Um, I sat down next to him, ordered a drink, started talking to him for a bit. And for some reason, I don't know why, he looks at me and goes, you're not a fucking Scot, are you? And I go, no, well, not really, I'm more Irish. And he starts apologizing profusely. He starts going, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I I'm sorry for what my people did to yours. Uh, and started buying me drinks throughout the, throughout the day. Um, like I said, it's kind of that same thing, you know, where John was saying, you know, history just, it doesn't go away, you know. You know, he nor his people, perfect shot. Uh, he nor his people ever, you know, did anything to me, uh, personally. So it's it it just, it struck me as weird, that's all. Um, not an interesting story, not a funny story, but just, you know, fed, fed them. It was to do with what, uh, what was being spoken before at the very least. I probably could have told the story better. I was just trying to concentrate that time because I fucked up the first round. A uh, second nice. round, rather. So it would be nice if I got the achievement so I could show you. Um, yeah, that was a bit off. But we are closest still with that one. So the speed you... Put, that was a bit far. points, alright. 
Um, yeah, it'd be nice to get the tumor so I can show you what it is. I think it's a really small tumor, like one of those, you know, five point ones. Um, I can't remember. It's one of those things that, I guess people have probably, you know, perfected this. There's probably people out there, you know, who are watching this and just laughing at my... Ooh, ooh. That was really close, it actually hit the bloody thing. Uh, it's way short. So we got one point. We'll skip this one this time because it takes too bloody long. We are aiming a bit off. Don't well, know what happened there. Too far. We pulled back too hard. Oh, that was <laughs> well and truly off that time. All right. This time, concentrating. Can skip his. Maybe we should be watching his. Maybe it's bad luck to skip your opponent's turn. Uh, that was alright. Could have done better. Ah, shit. Two ones right next to it, but still. I really just didn't push the button at the right time, and I could have. I think, um, if you get it on the bar, it's worth like five points or something. Um, I don't know what happened there. I don't know ah, shit, that's way short. It's all on the wrist. Yeah, but we needed that one point. I think that's all we needed. No. Apparently not. Okay, this time. Fuck it now. Christ on a pancake. Now that's well off. Okay, we really need to get it this time. I'm trying to rush for it because I'm watching the time. Alright. I really want to get this over with. It's a really long game for just a dollar. Oh, well, true. Fuck that me. Didn't work. Okay. We still got to win by two, so we really got to hope we get this one. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. That one was close. Uh, we got the one point, that's all we needed. So it's game to the match. I think you can, the most you can bet on that one is 10. But like I said, I really just wanted to do it for the Bola Twins um, outfit up there. Now, quickly, we'll do one last Bonnie mission and then that'll be it for this episode. Um, for what I know, the extra side quest could have opened by now. Um, so we have to walk all the way up to the door. But this is the episode, I think. Wild Horses, Ten Passions. Well, we will get that Mr. item we Marston. need. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my Check father? Check out that mustache. John Marston, Fucking this brain. is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. Drew McIntyre, no. So, my daughter informs me that... You're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. God, she told you that? Like that? I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. 
For ten years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters in Colorado. I very more my Yeah, it sounds that just way. like uh, the game Gold Rush. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. And state. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, hey, right? see this Williamson is a menace. Agents. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. Conspiracy you theory. Right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. Very nice of you. Very calm. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around. Well, you might not have much choice. Secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things no to do. Insult. No Mr. insult. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? Do we even drink any of it, too? Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. So this quest is reasonably long. Uh, hopefully we get it done. <laughs> Uh, before time runs out, because I am running desperately over time. Um, You're gonna need this. Oh uh, yes, this is what we need—the lesser, very handy item. And we'll explore it further right. after this. Mission. Now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. Get out of the way, miss. Thanks a lot. I'm missing my problem this time. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. Ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he uh -huh. wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now. I don't know much about politics. Yeah, Please, uh, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. So I'm just holding A at the moment. Um, like I said earlier in the game, if you hold A, it does balance out the speed you tend to follow. <coughs> who you're riding with. And as you see, so far it's doing so well. So there's, there's a horde of horses there. Come on! Let's put on You gonna use that rope or not? Well, I was, but for some reason I aimed at you. Come on! Come on! Fuck out of the way. And now we have to do a mini game where we kind of try to balance ourselves on the board. The angle, the camera angles where they were really bad. I don't know if we can catch this one on the foot anymore. Again, we're doing a quest where we're doing all the work. Again, for their livelihood, it's quite, you know. Quite strange. Well, what happened now? Lean into it! Take it slow now! Don't give up! But oh, hold on. 
you meant to balance yourself right in the center. There we go. Good work. I'm impressed, Marston. So we get off this one. When it leaves us. Mount up, Marston. You leave this one to me. And he'll take it off home. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Alright, so it's us. What? <laughs> okay. Well, the herd got away. It, it definitely did, but um, on, we had to follow that particular horse. Now we have to get another one. Oh, I see what happened there. <laughs> that was really odd. Uh, we, we are currently exactly where we left off. But uh, that one horse we just broke, uh, it like left the herd. Uh, so for some reason it fought, you know, it got angry at us that we had left the original herd behind. Uh, though now we're replaying the freak we from finishing off that horse. Okay, that's all. Let's go. Um, later on, we do have to do a few more times. Uh, no, actually, no. This one. Who'd have thought you'd be such an <coughs> That is an over here. That was fun. I think you could be a fine We do have another. This quest is over here. Put that way. Something's gonna happen. Sure. I remember. going to be a very long episode, or he is. Whoa! Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, You're buddy. welcome. Amos was saying his horse has been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. There we Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. So we need to catch a few more horses. We've got a really on, short Mr. amount Marston. of time to do it. Let's head for Armadillo! Really hope that there's enough time. You never did tell me why you were never married. Uh, aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised. Isn't he a newspaper available, though? You must have been quite a kid. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, Ooh. that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's dead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. That wasn't the smoothest line dialogue there, John. Anyways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. Ooh, Looks like a her one paradise. <laughs> so there's the ranch hens riding with us now. Should be able to do this in time, but we are again kind of restrained in trying to match this speed, uh, match Bonnie and the uh, run to speed, uh, much like it was with Marshall. Wait for my signal and don't let those horses out of your sight. Right well, what's the signal? Miss. So again, we're hurting uh, horses this time rather than cattle. Whoa there! Some are now breaking free. Oh, quite a lot of them. Huh? Whoa. 
want them to go this way. Come on. Come on. They do a too good job at hurting me now. Oh Christ almighty. When you want something done fast, it just goes horribly wrong, doesn't it? Don't get away. Get and the other ones tend to run away as well anyway. So we want to catch that one and then, well, the quest is over so we should be able to do it in time. Shouldn't take me 10 months to do this. That stallion does get pretty far in the distance pretty quick though. Let's go! that thanks for your help today mr. Marston we got some fine horses you know why don't you keep that stallion as your own as a thank you from all of us thank you ma'am he's a fine animal so what are we gonna name my new horse I ran over a rabbit. Should have been shooting him. So this is as good a time as you need to wrap up. I'll save here. And we'll see you next time. Let's play Red Dead Redemption. Bye bye for now.